Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another How Hard Is It To Run? This video is going to be on The Burrow XCOM Declassified. Now, originally when this game was announced and over the past year, because this game has been, you know, in development for a long, long time. I think it's been two to three years now. And I wasn't really too excited for the game, but I've been looking at gameplay videos over the last week or two, and the game actually looks pretty damn decent, and the only problem is it comes out on the same day as Splinter Cell Blacklist and Saints Row 4, and I think out of those three games, this is definitely the game that's going to sell the least, and probably on the lowest on people's totem pole on which they want to get. I really do think it was a bad decision to have this game released on the same days as those two other blockbusters, but hey, what can you do? I might be picking it up, I'm still not sure yet, but from the gameplay that I've been looking at, it does look like a fairly decent game. With that being said, the specs have been released, so I'm going to go over them right here. And surprisingly, this game is kind of a PC pusher, but let's get into this. Processor, minimum processor, Intel Core 2 Duo, 2.4 GHz, AMD Athlon X2, 2.7 GHz. Recommended is kind of odd for processor they just list it as a quad core processor so they don't specify which quad core processor whether it's an amd phenom 2x4965 i5 2500k they don't really specify what it is now, the minimum requirements isn't anything special. Dual cores seem to be moving on and becoming more and more of the minimum requirements for most games. Uh, the recommended, if I'd have to speculate on what that quad-core processor is, if they list it as just quad-core processor, I think you'd be fine with the bare minimum quad-core processor, like an AMD Phenom 2X4965, or even an i3-2100, which is a dual-core processor with hyper-threading, make it kind of like a mock quad-core processor. Moving on to the RAM, same as the other two games that I covered, uh, Saints Row 4 and Blacklist. Memory, 2 gigabytes as minimum, recommended 4 gigabytes, so uh, 2 or 4 gigabytes, most people have 8 gigabytes, and uh, most budget builds have 4 gigabytes, and very old machines have 2 gigabytes, so I think most people are going to be good uh, as far as the RAM compartment goes, and once again, harkens back to my statement of, you know, 4 gigabytes is still very capable for gaming, and even 2 gigabytes, that's kind of surprising, but hey, if you have 2 gigabytes, you're probably not going to be get running this game at the best settings. Now moving on to the most important part of a how hard is it to run video, the graphics card. Minimum graphics card requirement, ATI Radeon HD 3870 or NVIDIA 8800 GT. Those are really old cards. I believe both, uh, I believe both of those released in around 2007, give or take a year or two, so uh, very old cards. Recommended graphics cards are fairly high-end cards. AMD Radeon HD 6950 or NVIDIA GeForce GTX 560 Ti. Those are fairly high-end cards that I believe just released two years ago, and they still retail for fairly high prices. Now, to modernize these graphics card requirements, a 6950 is about uh, the same speed as a 7870, 7850. It's kind of in the middle ground between those two, and a 560 Ti is kind of like a GTX 660 non-TI, so fairly high-end uh, graphics card uh, requirement, and usually if that's the recommended uh, cards, you can usually run that game at 1080p, highest settings at around 40 frames per second, so if you actually want to run this game at 60 frames per second at 1080p, you probably want something like a GTX 660 Ti or a AMD Radeon HD 7950, so this is a fairly high-end game, and uh, one other thing that I want to add, this game is actually incompatible with Intel HD 3000, kind of odd, uh, they just throw that in there that it's incompatible with uh integrated graphics so um yeah apus can obviously still run it it's just the intel hd 3000 cannot so and one more thing 12 gigabytes of hard drive space you know that's fairly decent for a late uh, for you know a title like this one of the latest titles it's actually smaller than uh saints row 4 and spring cell blacklist i believe so yeah thanks for watching this video guys i know a lot of people aren't too excited for this game but check out some gameplay it actually looks pretty decent uh you guys are probably watching some gameplay right now in this video so yeah check out some more gameplay I, it really does look like a decent game and i think splinter cell blacklist and saints row 4 is definitely taking a lot of attention away from this game but check the game out it actually looks somewhat decent i still don't know if i'm picking it up because again that same day splinter cell blacklist and saints row 4 i'm definitely gonna pick those two up and getting xcom 2 i don't know if i want to spend that much money on one day on those three games especially because i'm probably gonna have all my time consumed up with uh, Spl splinter cell and saints row 4 so i don't know about this game i might pick it up i'm still pretty iffy on it so yeah thanks for watching this video guys remember to hit that subscribe button like this video and comment and i'll catch you guys later peace